Meet the newest face of climate change, the Bengal tiger. The tiger subspecies has one of the world's largest remaining populations here, in the Sundarbans, a massive mangrove forest located at the mouth of the Ganges River between Bangladesh and India. And according to a new report by the World Wildlife Fund, 96% of it could be underwater by 2070. I think certainly if we don't see, you know, active movement in the global climate change discussions and we continue to, to delay action, certainly the tiger will uh, step up on the podium with the polar bear as some of the most endangered uh, species due to pretty much specifically to climate change, or, or at least this population of tigers. Laux and his colleagues used GPS data collected from people walking through the forest to measure sea level rise since 2000. They found that an expected rise of 11 inches by 2070 would drown the mangroves, making critical tiger habitat pretty much unlivable. WWF estimates that if this happens, the number of breeding tigers in the forest would plummet down to 20. But the exact number of tigers living there now is unknown. No one really has a great understanding, but we think between 150 and 400, which is a pretty wide range. It's a very inhospitable place for humans, and uh, these tigers are also known to attack humans as well, so um, it's not a place you want to just go for a daily stroll. That inhospitality makes the forest a perfect tiger breeding ground. So any big population is important to try to conserve, and this one in the Cinderbonds is the last type of population where the tigers have adapted to living in these mangrove, these swampy forests. They're also home to hundreds of species of birds, reptiles, and commercial fish, an important resource to the millions of people who live there. Immediate dangers to the tigers include deforestation and poaching. Coupled with the long-term threat of climate change, Laux says it will take both global and regional efforts to save them. We're hoping that um, governments try to limit the greenhouse gas emissions. I think also we need to make sure that we expand or try to maintain or expand the mangroves in this area. And that means trying to find a, a mangroves that can perhaps adapt to this rapidly increasing sea level. The study appears in the journal Climactic Change. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Rivas.